So then they came out with another, another just banger, the Duckman 4s. Yes. They gave these only to the basketball team. I hated on these for a long time. You hated on these? Yes. Oh, you're crazy. Because I like the black pair more. Wow. And I was like, if I could only have one, I would take this one. And then I got them and I was like, oh, <laughs> these yeah. are nice. These are nice. <laughs> Leather is amazing. They got the duck on the back. Supposedly Michael Jordan got very angry about yeah. these and the Duckman 5s yep. that you've got on and we'll look at next, that they messed with the Jumpman to put the Oregon mascot. But the speckles, um, these are just, this is a dead stock pair that I always want to wear yeah. and just don't because yeah. these are just going up. What are they worth now? Like 20,000 or something yeah, like that? Yeah, these, these are worth a lot. It's crazy. These are the worth prices a lot. are actually crazy on that shoe. But that, that's the thing too. Like like you said, they were pushing the limits yep. on the design element and how they executed materials and then switching to Jumpman. Took me years to get those and yeah. I, had to, I had to pay a few grand yeah. at that point, but it's still, now they've still gone way, way yeah. up. So yeah. it's been uh, been useful. And then the other the other version that has the uh, duck on the back, which also we got here on DJ's feet. I had to come and represent for yep. <laughs> the Duckman fives. And, and right here, these are two of probably what, like 35, 40 right, pairs right. in existence. Yeah. Um, and so these are a worn pair that were worn, um, I think by a coach, because they don't have the number on them. Mm -hmm. But these were only given to the basketball players, the trainers, the coaches, and then probably a few, you know, yep. celebrity athletes. So definitely a hard one to find. Another one where the price is just absolutely yeah. skyrocketed. Um, I think a lot of people love the the Duck Man, and it's just a cool, well-made, good material shoe. Correct me if I'm wrong. During this time of these coming out to the players, wasn't this like three thousand dollars? And people were like, "No way, that's way too much." Yeah, they and were. Then, like a few years later, it was like 5,000 and people were like, this is the most expensive PE. <laughs> yeah. And then it became like 10,000 and we're like, what is going on? This was like during that time. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. Cause Those, I'm like, I swear that's what it was during the time. This is right about when you couldn't really just get the shoes for a few hundred bucks. Anymore. Yeah. Like, it became like, all right, everybody knows about it. All yep. your, your favorite collectors going after Oregon PEs these days. Yep. Like, okay. So it became, it became harder to find, harder to get at a good price but it also makes the hunt a little bit more fun yeah. because like like you, it's like, I don't wanna pay yeah. full market price for anything. So it's, uh, you gotta work all the angles um, and try to find a way to do it, which is also even harder when you're trying to yeah. do it in your size yeah. or something that's at least close to my size. So for the most part, you try to get everything in your size so you can wear it. Yep. If not, you get it and then like, hopefully you can still find your size later, maybe trade I or whatever. Yeah, I've done trades. So I definitely have done some where I bought one and then found someone else who had it in the size or, or a reseller or mm -hmm. somebody, um, a shop, um, have definitely done some trades or sometimes you, you know, got to trade and add a little cash or whatever it right. may be. But I noticed too that you don't have like the size 16 pair, the one that, you know what I'm saying? Because like you could complete the set that way. Yeah. But it's like, this shoe is $4,000. You buy a size 16, you might be able to get it for 1200. <laughs> like, okay, I got it, but like, so. But it looks really weird. What's yeah. your max on size? Is it 13, is it 14? 13 is the highest I have. Okay. Yeah. You got some 13s up in here, we gotta <laughs> see what's going on. <laughs> but uh, for me, yeah, I can make a 14 work on certain models, uh, but I know a lot of people that do do that, they, yeah. they try to stay under, you know, 13 or under. Yeah. Because when it gets to 14, even though that, like the price will change and it'll be, a lot cheaper. Yeah, almost almost all of them are in my size, or at least within a half size. That's what's there's, up. There's a, there's a couple that are about 13s. Okay, so. take me to the Oregon Fives right here, the football fives. Very well-known shoe, um, the Oregon Fives. These, these were given to the football team, so a couple hundred pairs in existence. Mm -hmm. um, but I think the color made them like really well-known, yeah. as well as the duck on the back being so prominent. These yeah. became like a very popular, well-known PE. We saw a lot of celebrities wearing these. Yeah. When they was like coming around, it was like any hot celebrity, rapper, whatever, like they had to yeah. have these during that time. I've, I've seen pictures of like, you know, um, Adam Levine and Maroon yeah. 5 wearing them. Yeah. And like, it's so What's it's, going on, it's right? where like PE started to move over into celebrity yeah. with these. And then of course they came out with the GR versions, mm -hmm. um, which are different, but also kind of brought back a bunch of attention to these as, yeah a well-known PE and this is a pair like starting to get pretty worn like I, I wear mm -hmm. these ones a lot. I try to be very cautious about those ones because 
That green, man, you mess it up, there's no going back. No, if you get them wet or anything, yeah. that suede is. And then uh, living in Oregon, you know yeah. the struggle. <laughs> okay, talk about the sleeper of the bunch. I think this is the sleeper of the bunch. They're just so comfortable. So these are the, you know, most of these other PEs have been early models of Jordans. Uh -huh. And then they're like, we're gonna do a Jordan 29. Mm -hmm. These are super cool because they have, it's a little tough to see, but they have the Oregon wings that they had on the football uniforms on the side of the shoe and then different duck logos on the back. So this may have been the first appearance of like this New version logo. of duck, yeah. um, of sort of the evil, you know, evil twin or whatever mm -hmm. you want to call it. Um, but got, you know, numbered because this is one of the pairs that the football team had. Mm -hmm. So um, very cool shoe and really comfortable. Yeah. yeah. Really comfortable pair. What'd you pay on those? I feel like 1100. Okay. Something like that. You got that. them later. Yeah, oh, I got okay. that pair later. Okay. Yeah, it's a hard find, especially in your size too. Yeah, it was I a hard like one. That makes sense. So these were like kind of cheaper, underappreciated, and then like people started to yeah. kind of see some type of value. I don't know where they found it at, but next thing you know, like the prices started going up. And to me, again, I still think sleeper in a bunch. Like if you want to have a more of affordable Oregon PE, something that's still a Jordan, I think this is one of the ones to go to, especially something to rock. That's just my opinion. I don't yep. know. What do you think about these? Wild shoe. These are the uh, Jordan Mellow 10. These are above my size. One of the bigger pairs I have. And I mean, definitely wild, right? Like they got a, it says Mellow on the back here. Yeah. They got some of the Oregon wing graphic there. These I got, I, the tongue's pretty cool and wild with the yeah. duck and nicely sewn on. But a hard shoe for me to wear, one due to the size and also it's it's got a lot going on. Mm -hmm. A lot going on. That. But you could get these for cheaper too. Yeah, yeah. But, so this is one of the ones where you're like, you gotta get it for the complete the set type shoes? Yeah. Okay. I wouldn't, okay. Have, I wouldn't have bought those to wear probably on my that. own. I feel that. <laughs> so if anyone has a, you know, size 11 or so, let me know, cause I'll, I'll trade you some 13. Yeah, we're putting some requests. Oh, that's a 13. <laughs> uh oh, I need to find an 11. Yeah, find an 11 so I can get it from you and then I can trade it to him. <laughs> All right, gray 14s. Gray 14s. So they gave these to the football team. Mm -hmm. Really beautiful shoe. They got the embossed Oregon, duck and the suede which is nice really nicely sewn mm -hmm. oregon ducks here on the leather um really cool shoe that you know has been you, you see these kind of a lot on the market mm -hmm. like this and the green pair mm -hmm. um and so i don't know i don't know what happened here to make a lot more of these transact these are ones i i see for sale quite a bit and they're still not cheap though so here's my struggle the green pair so we were talking about this earlier. There's three different versions, right? Yep. It says the different sport teams that they're designated to on here. But the green pair in particular, there's just not that many pairs in a size 13. Ah. Uh, because of the four, because of the football team, more yeah, size 13. More size 13. These I see so many 12s and under. <laughs> so I'd be struggling. Because they did volleyball, track. Yep. And basketball, you right. should maybe maybe the basketball, basketball ones, but yeah. think about how limited that is. But they is. didn't do a football. You see what I'm saying? So that's why you don't have 13, right. right? All those big so feet. So finding the size 13 for me has been the struggle. And I'm like, do I want to pay that price for a 12 that I can't even wear? And I wear these in a 14 because they kind of run small. So I'm like, yeah. I can't even find a 14. <laughs> I'm struggling right now. <laughs> I kind of wish they did this color more of like a Kelly green, yeah. apple green. That would have been crazy. It's, I don't have a lot of like military colored uh, stuff to wear with. So if, if these were like this color green, I probably would wear these. Mm -hmm. But So we were talking about that earlier too. There's three different versions of these. Do you go after all three or do you say, I got one, I'm good? I got one, I'm good. Okay. Uh, it, it, you could go after all of them, but like, there's only so right. much time and- People go like, you got the same shoe and like, yeah. it's just the tongue. It's, it's a just, different stage. Just the tongue. <laughs> um, so yeah, not, not super interested in getting all three pairs. I feel that, I feel that. Okay, take me to the fives. I feel like this is where they started to go downhill a little bit. You know what I'm saying? It's like, where's the effort at? That's yeah. like, I don't know. Got a little, a little lazy, I think with these. These are the Olympic gold coin, I believe they're called. Mm -hmm. Olympic gold coin fives that they essentially just slapped an Oregon logo on. And then uh, the number of the player, this was a punter, yep. um, number 38. Uh, thank you for your service, number 38. <laughs> but, um, you know, it's like an OK5. Uh, Oregon doesn't really wear gold of that color much. Right. So 
Kind of a random one, but I like fives in general. And then they the lasered wings were, it. Yeah, yeah, the lasered wings were cool. Gave it a little facelift and then called it a PE. Yep. And then they were like, you know what? We're up to something here. <laughs> so they did another one. <laughs> Yep, these are uh, Jordan 12s, the Wool 12s, um, which is a pretty like, good quality shoe in general, mm -hmm. but they just added a Oregon Duck sewn onto the tongue um, to a, you know, a GR shoe. So when you see uh, this PE, you got the Chanel patch, but if you look behind the tongue, you can actually see the stitch lines from there. So they literally took the GR and stitched it directly on there and was like, Tinker, sign all these, call it a day, let's let's give it to the players. So Tinker's autograph makes it a little better, but yeah, not <laughs> not my, you know, not my favorite pair of Oregon uh, PEs. I feel that. And then they didn't do both tongues. I'm like, bruh. Yeah, I don't know why they didn't do both tongues either. That was kind of a weird. But the trend continues. It continues. So these, um, and they gave those to the football team. These they just gave to the Oregon track team, mm -hmm. which are uh, playoff. 12 lows mm -hmm. so on here they they just added you know an oregon track tag which was a logo that apparently tinker uh did in the 70s mm -hmm. when he was a oregon track athlete so it has the year of the track team and uh that's it there's nothing else really <laughs> special about the shoe um this one was actually really hard to find i was just about to say yeah they're probably not like super expensive they you just don't see them that often yeah it wasn't wasn't uh very expensive but was really hard and took a long time to actually find a pair of those um and they were my size was same thing they did better. one of the tongues on there and then and then they did it again <laughs> so they're like hey that's easy um actually the same track team got okay. this pair too so at least they got two jordan mm -hmm. shoes right okay. in one season um but these are jordan 31s the lows yeah yeah of, yeah of lows they just took a gr shoe and slapped the same logo on them so this pair was also very hard to find right and um you got them a, as a set uh i no, i had to get them separately Ooh. yeah you these them are different sizes size or different, different okay. sizes yeah these are a little these are a half size too small for okay me. okay but um that's crazy yeah got these from a female track coach who uh left <laughs> all right <laughs> now they got back into getting crazy with it but yeah. this was like a whole nother switch up we hadn't seen this color on a jordan pe like this was like a brighter green but like not like yeah just neon crazy colors uniforms were switching up different things were happening these got what did crazy. you initially feel about these when they first came out because i did not like them I didn't love them. These are my least favorite of the three Jordan 13s that they did. Yes. Um, they gave these to the football team. You know, I mean, I don't hate them. Right. But they're not they're not my favorite of the three. The two different greens is a little bit much for me, but um, I like that they've got, again, different colored ducks on them was a nice touch. Mm -hmm. um, and a well-made shoe. The laces threw me off too. Yeah, the lace color, it's like three greens, huh? Yeah, I was, I was always like, Okay, all right, they did all this, like at least give me like a neon lace or something to just, I don't know. The card, oh, also let's yeah, talk about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, let's talk about This was something card. we didn't really see too often until this time. When Tinker designed shoes, he always did um, art. When he started doing the Oregon PEs, he started doing a card that had, you know, essentially some art from him. And then, you know, a little explanation, you know, only 200 pairs made um kind of some information about it so it was cool that the pe started coming with the cards mm -hmm. but again it got inconsistent right. they, they don't do these for everyone right. so i don't know why why it happens we'd have to ask tinker and uh and jordan brand i guess <laughs> okay talk about these next ones this pair <sighs> these are my favorite of the threes or not of the, of the three of the, three of the three 13s <laughs> so when um they built the new uh, basketball arena. Um, it's called Matt Knight Arena for uh, Phil Knight's son, Matt. Mm -hmm. Phil Knight donated, founder of Nike, donated most of the, the money for that arena. Um, so they made these Matt Knight Jordan 13s pretty soon after the arena opened, mm -hmm. if I'm remembering that timing correctly. Um, but they've got, you know, the, the arena logo on the tongue says hoops right here got the duck logos on them just a clean good looking yeah 
shoe. Like, I really like these ones. And the yellow stitch details yeah. within it. I like how they went about these ones too. Yeah. I think these look clean. They, they also released them with like a cool video yeah. and they, they really did the whole package. It's yeah. also got a card, but I don't know where my card is. It's, Wait, what size do you need in those? I need an 11, 11 or 11 and a half. 11 and a half. Somebody get this man 11, 11 yeah, and a half so I can get this big. 13 off of him real quick <laughs> one time. All right, let's take it to the next one. Track versions of the, the 13s as well. Yeah, you got the duck hits on them. Clean. Got the track right here. Got the O on the tongue. Just a nice black and yellow. Nice leather. Um, cool shoe. shoe. Also, there's another version of the card so you can see uh, Tinker's Art has that same uh, track logo. That's the name of the, whoops, name of the track coach. The shoes just lost $500 <laughs> <of> value. <laughs> No, this is fire. And it's got like the little iridescent on the logo at the bottom as well behind it on the little area. So they have great details on this shoe. The suede, everything is fire when it comes to these. Yep. Okay. Now the sixes. I wish there was different color blocking, but at the same time, I like the classic like infrared. You're a big sixes guy, right? Yeah, so I love sixes. Yeah. When these when these came about, wait, okay, I was about to say yep. you got the white sixes yep. over there. The they gotta be over. Okay. Talk to me, how do you feel about these? I like them, okay. I like them. I haven't been, like sixes are kind of big and bulky to wear. Right. If I was playing basketball, I'd probably like them more, but I've worn these a little bit. Um, I do like the O, I thought that was a cool mm -hmm. new thing that they'd done after making all these shoes to mm -hmm. still come up with new innovations of like, oh, let's let's do the O with some right. breath breathing holes and make it 3M behind it. So I thought that was a nice new innovation on them. And the, you know, the colors are pretty cool, but a little bland. Um, I don't love this wing. On the back. On yeah. the back. I'm like, it's cool. I don't know, I just feel like. I would have liked to know. It could have been so much better. Like yeah. I said, imagine like a Carmine color blocking with some different touches and stuff. Mm -hmm. and it would have been like some crazy shoe that just popped. Got an O on the inside, which is nice, but they give these to football and basketball. So mm -hmm. there was a decent amount of these that hit the market. Okay. Now this one, refueled the hype train. I think this is what got it back going. This, this got it back this going. This is what's going on now. What year was this, 2018? 2018. 20, yeah, 2018. 2018. So these, these are my favorite pair of all, all of them. A lot of people's. I love Jordan 3s, <laughs> I love Jordan 3s. I love Tinker 3s, which are the way Tinker originally designed the Jordan 3 was with a swoosh. Mm -hmm. There's some other colorways. I've got the whole Tinker collection, which okay. has been a fun one to get. Dope. These actually have removable swooshes, so you can put on elephant print, reflective green, black, got all the swooshes in mm -hmm. here. Um, cool hang tag, amazing green suede. I love the, the O on the back. back. Oh, oh, it's so clean with so the mat clean. behind it. Yep, Looks so good. clean. Reflective tongue. I've worn these twice. Okay. It's like a special occasion. Okay. What was the shoe. occasion? What was the occasion? Uh, I've worn them twice for both of the annual baseball okay. uh, banquets. Dope. That's for my up. for my friend who's the coach there. So I'll keep I'll keep wearing these. It took me a couple of years to even wear them. <laughs> so that was a big step. This did get the hype back going. These were another one that you saw on yeah. a lot of celebrities' feeds. Yeah. It's that green, man. They could literally do every model in that yeah. green like that with the suede. It's a wrap, like. Imagine the sixes like that. Imagine any shoe like any of these. If they did that, it's game over. It's a beautiful, beautiful shoe. Okay, should we keep going down here? Should we finish up here? What do you want to do? We didn't even do some of these. Yeah, yeah, here. we could we could do up here real quick. We got, um, we got a couple things. These go back a little ways. The foam posits. Uh, these are a real popular Oregon PE. Was this like 2012? Yeah, 2012 or so. Like yeah, yeah it was it was part of like the yeah. foam posit era. Yeah. Um, and time. so they put the wings on all the sides here. Oh, uh, I actually hooped in a pair of these for a while really? and, then, and then ended up trading them to somebody. That's wild. <laughs> oh, on the tongue. These came out to the public. The players also got them as well. The player issue pairs were the same exact disease. So this was like a chance for people, to, cause there was hype. This row right here essentially had yep. came out and these came out. And during that time, these were dropping. And this was like people's first chance to get college PE type thing building with up an that O hype. on them yeah. and yeah so there was a lot of a lot of hype behind it and I think they still hold a good value and people like them I think one Usually of the 500 600 bucks yeah. yeah which is for a, for a shoe that was a general release right, right. um it's pretty the good confetti on the bottom pretty good value Ooh. yeah good shoe okay you got the Kobe's up here 
Yep, these are a couple of uh, player-worn Kobe's um, from the Hoops team. I don't know, look like my size might be. Two different ones. Go. Yeah, these ones are one of the bigger pairs I have too, right here. Um, you know, not a not a whole lot of like special Oregon stuff on them, but mm -hmm. um, pretty cool shoe. Mm -hmm. You know, I like the green and yellow. You don't see that many that like mix them so much. There's actually not a lot of yellow. You like, if you look at the wall, you don't see right. that much yellow, right. Right? right? You got a couple of them. So um, it's cool to have a, a yellow pair. I think I like these white pair a little bit more. Mm -hmm. They gave these to the, um, I think it was the 16, 17 basketball team. Okay. When they made the sweet 16, okay. they gave oh, uh, yeah. multiple schools, all got Kobe's where Kobe actually came right. into the locker rooms and gave the shoes to the teams. So it actually also comes with a, um, like a kind of a display uh, thing that has a slogan on them too that Dope. came with the shoe in that's the box. So pretty cool pair, but I, I like, again, that's my favorite green. Just these are these are nice. Yeah, that's definitely funny. So you talk about, I'm thinking how funny it is because you're talking about this display case, which I haven't seen before, but I know what the display case looks like for those Air Force Ones. Yep. Or the shoe box or whatever you want yeah. to call it. So talk about these forces real quick and then we can get back to the Jays. So these forces were um, given to the men's and women's team um, right before the 2020 Pac-12 or Pac-12 tournament. Okay. They got canceled due to COVID. Mm -hmm. So they got these as like travel shoes. Um, so the men's and women's team um, got these pairs. I'm clean. I like them. It's kind of a wood coloring with the lasered, uh, lasered wings on them. AF1. Um, these were a women's player shoe. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, cool to have. And then it had her number on the box as well. So it comes in uh, clear, white, whatever you want to call it, yeah. smoky white. Smoky uh, white, acrylic case. Clear acrylic case. And it's got the wings all over the top with the player's info and stuff. It's dope. Yep. It's dope. dope. It's got display. her number on the case, but my case is actually a little cracked too. So oh. that's, that's the problem with the acrylic cases yeah. is they, be they, careful can, with them. they can break. Okay. Uh, did we get through this row? Yes. We got okay. through that row, yeah. The sixes, back to the sixes. Back to the sixes. Of the two sixes, I like this pair a little more. It makes the green just pop. Better. Yeah, the green pops. Which is we weird. We got the white O, the same wings on the back. These were only given to the women's basketball mm -hmm. team. So My struggle is real. The black pair was for the men's and football. So yeah. there's way more black pairs out there yeah. than there are white pairs. And then because it was given to the women's team, there's, I mean, can you find a 13? Every time I've owned these, they've never been my size and that's why I don't have a pair anymore because I keep getting rid of them. But yep. I'm on the hunt, I need a pair of my size. They're nice. That's a rough one right there. Okay, the sevens. The sevens. I almost wore those. Oh, that I was, was like, a nice show. I was gonna nice wear those, choice. but I was like, I oh, don't know if I should wear these. These are pretty polarizing. You think yeah. people either love them or hate them. I like them a lot because there's so few all yellow shoes. Mm -hmm. um, I like what they did with these. I like the tongue with the old school. Yeah, that's UO. the patch is fire. Yeah. Um, got the O on the inside. They gave these to the football team in the 2019 Rose Bowl season mm -hmm. on their way to the game. They that only made against, they only made you? 400. Um, 19 Rose Bowl was Wisconsin. Wisconsin, that's yeah. right. Okay. So Justin Herbert was quarterback. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but they only made that's 400 right. pairs, so they're numbered, which I love the numbered. It, it always makes it fun. Mm -hmm. They then gave, um, a later release of these to the baseball team. Okay. So now there's technically more than 400. Really? Yeah. Huh. But not a ton more. But those weren't numbered. I don't know if those were numbered. Oh, we gotta find out. I don't know if those were numbered. I gotta do some research. They got the O on the back too. Yeah. Kind of like uh, burned in sort of, or embossed. That shoe, that shoe took time to grow on me, but now I really like them. Yeah. I really do. Initially I was like, oh, they could have did better. Da, da, da. But I, this one, I, I don't know. <laughs> So I heard a funny story about these, which okay. I'm not sure if it's true or not, but okay. I'll, I'll repeat it anyway. Um, I heard at this point, with all these shoes, you'll notice there never been a Jordan 1. Right. And the reason I'd heard was that Tinker didn't design the Jordan 1, ah. and Tinker had really been behind giving all of these shoes to the Oregon football team. That he team. worked on, yeah. So at this point in time, people within the Oregon athletic program, I won't name names, were begging for a Jordan 1 mm -hmm. to be made in, as a PE. Mm -hmm. And so they gave a mid and just slapped on the ducks and an O on the back. And that's what like, Oregon State got too. Here you go. 
Yeah. Um, and so, supposedly it was almost meant as a little bit of a slap in the face of like, <sighs> if you beg for something, this is what you're gonna get, right. is a Jordan 1 mid with just some stickers <laughs> kind of on them. <laughs> I be seeing pairs of like a thousand dollars, and I'm like, bro, like I give you like two hundred bucks, like I don't know. <laughs> like, Again, I had to, I had to complete the collection. I feel it. I, I had feel to complete it. The collection. Okay, sevens. Now these, I Oof. like these. Rarely seen. Yes. Rarely seen. You see the yellow ones a lot more. The white sevens, same UO on the tongue, but you got this like gold, kind of gold and green, mm -hmm. right? You can mm -hmm. see some green in that. Like that iridescent in there. Um, yeah, yeah. Again, these were for the women's basketball team. You got the O on the back, and they only made 120 of these. Mm -hmm. So, so it's about a fourth of them. Both about a fourth yeah. of, of those other ones. Um, I wore these once, scuffed the, this is a problem with white shoes. Tough to get off too, oh. scuffed them. So um, that's part of the pain, part of the pain, but um, I, I like those, very clean shoe. Okay, we got some more ones over here. Another Jordan 1 mid, but I like these a lot more. These are better. These I are like better. these a lot more. I'll give you that, I'll give you that. These were Jordan 1 mids uh, given to the track team. Mm -hmm. um, cooler one, in my opinion, in general, nice suede material. They actually sewed the O on this mm -hmm. time, which was improved. And then they got the same black track duck that Tinker made so popular it's a nice on, the touch back. on the back. And then the initials of the track coach Dope. at the time um, on the inside tongue. So gave these to the track team. These are actually pretty wearable for me where I've worn these yeah. quite a bit. Yeah. Like I like the gray color. Um, you can kind of wear them with jeans easily, things like that. that. So that's, that. that's been a bear. There's still no Jordan 1 highs. Yeah, Still well, no it's crazy because has. they did all the other college PEs and those ones. Yep. And it's funny because like, if you notice, none of these come with a set of all the other colleges. Yep. Oregon is always unique to itself. Unique, which but is But I'll cool. be like, if they would have did this, and they would have, that might have been I tough. know, and they did all those uh, Jordan 1 lows recently too for yeah. Oklahoma and Marquette oh, and Florida. And those are beautiful. I don't like and yellow. green and yellow of oh. those. Oh. So this is the first one. Yep. Yeah, this was the first one. This was a StockX drop. StockX started, uh, this is this is when we hit another change of- Commercial. Commercial distribution. <laughs> yeah. Um, and now they not only gave these to the football team, they also released pairs on StockX mm -hmm. in an auction format that happened um, at like a set time. So mm -hmm. it wasn't a traditional StockX, like just go buy whenever you right. want. They auctioned off all the pairs and that's when uh, DJ and I were talking about what we were bidding right. and stuff like that. Really nice shoe though. I like the the sewn on duck. I, l I love that green. Yeah. Um, they come with came with the card. They brought that um, back. So again, this is where the the era gets tough. Where you're like, oh, everyone knows the value of these now. Yeah. Um, so it was. Everybody's a ducks fan. Everybody's now. a duck fan. Everybody yeah. is investing in PE. Right. Right. So a lot more competition to get these um, than there used to be. I feel that. Okay. So now. We see the StockX thing, and they say, we're gonna make it fair. We're gonna do something on GOAT, too. So yeah, I guess this we one, can look at the Let me grab this one, too? Yeah, yeah, grab that one, too. Um, they just tweaked a couple of things on it. Different ducks, slightly different colors. Um, they added the 3M. They, they added the, the Oregon or, yeah. ducks and 3M on these, which I actually think was a, a nice addition um, to add the Oregon ducks on the inside of those. And then they came out with the, sort of the alternate greens that also have the Oregon Ducks in there. Remember when DJ Khaled posted these first? Yep. Everybody was like, what's this? What's going on? These are ugly, but I want them. <laughs> and then they ended up on GOAT like a couple weeks later. Yep. And this was like the trifecta. Which one's your favorite? I'm still going with the first one. Yeah, I think the first one. I think one's the first one's too. the best one too. I, I do like the the Oregon Ducks and the 3M, yeah. but I think I just like the color blocking on the first one the best. But so there's the that's what I was asking before. Did you, I'll put this back for you? Yeah, yeah. Did did you get the track eight? Uh, which I don't even know if I know what those there's are. There's a then. fourth one. There's a fourth one. There's a fourth oh, one. Oh, I didn't even know about it's that. It's white and yellow. Oh, now I need to go. Well, there we go. I got you a didn't new. Know? I got a no. I didn't even know. Yeah, there's a track one. I got, so a, I got a new the, mission. We'll talk about the 14s. Okay. So after the 14s, which I'll, I'll let you. Oh, well then, then I, I need to go after them. So after these, the, they had a, a track eight. That came flew out. Flew under the radar. With white and yellow. Yeah, I didn't even yeah. know about them. 
that's it's shocking. similar to the one on the far right, but it's a little bit more bright white and yellow, like a neon yellow, like okay. that's on the outsole. Well, I'll we show go. you. I'll show you a picture. Yeah, yeah. Either way, let's talk about the 14s. 14s, another 14, uh, continuing the 14 trends. I like these a lot. Mm -hmm. They got kind of a cool rubber material on the back. Like the tires Rodeo. on the Ferrari. Yep. These these definitely look more like traditional Jordan 14s mm -hmm. than than these ones did. Um, but I like them. Clean shoe. Um, again, painful now is like everybody knows that right. they're worth a lot of money. So these just came out, what, less than a year ago? That, yeah. Was that last, yeah. last year? Something last like that. football season, yeah. I think. Um, what are these worth now? I, I say, I haven't between, looked. I've seen prices between like 1200 to 2500 Yeah. Somewhere between there. But for some reason, I think these are gonna go up later. I think they will too. I think they're nice like, shoe. oh man, I could have got those for fifteen hundred, and then they're like, yep. why are they thirty five hundred dollars now? Yep. Okay. And then uh, last last few on this row, these uh, you know pretty standard pair of uh, LeBron Zoom witnesses, but they put these were worn by the basketball team. They put the Tall Furs nineteen thirty nine logo on as a stamp. This was the Oregon basketball team mm -hmm. that uh, won the first NCAA tournament in 1939, and my wife's grandpa played for the team. You got to show. Well, let's just take. Let's them over take here a look now. at the blanket. Let's yeah, let's yeah. take a look at the blanket. Same thing as the shoe in 1939, won the national championship. Uh, my wife's grandpa was a reserve on the team. He was a sophomore, and they gave a blanket to each player with their name on it. Um, and because that's what, 85 years ago, um, this is the only blanket left to be known in existence. Um, all the players have now died. They've, um, you know, checked with all the families. Mm -hmm. And so we uh, preserved it in a UV protected frame. Um, and, you know, one day we'll either give it to our kids or donate it to the athletic department um, as a piece of memor memorabilia. So. Um, it's amazing. Um, my wife's dad kept it in unbelievable shape. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's a really cool thing. So when I saw the shoes, yeah, uh, I was at the game and saw the players wearing those shoes. And, and I was like, I got to find those shoes. Right. So those were not very expensive, but very hard to find because they literally only gave them to the players For playing that one that, night. That yeah. one night. Yeah. Yep. And we got the photos of the squad over here. Yep. And photos of him too. and the squad. Uh, diving for a loose ball and uh, the tall furs is also what yeah well, as I mentioned earlier what the the lumber walls are really kind of based on literally everything is tied in some way to how this whole place is put together you were I don't remember if you told us this is on camera or off camera about I think it was yeah I think it was off camera but the the beams in the ceiling are uh, modeled after Mac court the uh, basketball arena where the tall furs played which is now since been retired as yeah. a basketball arena because it was leaking and <laughs> bathrooms barely there. worked and all that kind of stuff. And then uh, the O on the ceiling is um, in the current arena, there's an O like this on the bottom of the scoreboard that you can see yeah. from the lower parts of the arena. It's like coming from so one So we really like that another. idea and, and uh, decided to do that in the ceiling of this room. Okay, so we got a few more shoes over here and then we'll wrap this thing up, man. Wrap it up. So these are uh, both Revis, um, Daryl Revis was good, good defensive back in the NFL Man. that had his own pro model shoe. So they made Oregon versions of them in black and silver. They've got the uh, win the day when Chip Kelly was the coach mm -hmm. logo, reflective materials, good uh, Oregon wings on the inside and win the day logos. I just thought these were nice. Yeah. Right. And like, they're so comfortable. Yeah. Just like a good, Ooh, good looking these. shoe. Um, very cool. So um, definitely had to had to grab a pair of these uh, of each color and not terribly expensive, yeah. but but I, I like them so much that I, I put them on the, the premier wall. The black pair is a lot easier to come by now in life. I feel like the silver pair is a lot a little harder, harder to find. To find. Yeah, uh, especially in certain sizes. That's my second pair of the silver ones. I yeah. wore I wore a pair for a long time and yeah. wore them out. I did that too, and then I got rid of them, and then I can't find another one. <laughs> so I'm like kind of salty. I did those thirteens. You gotta yeah. get smaller feet. I know, bro. I'm struggling. I'm struggling. <laughs> I'm struggling. Okay, uh, 
We good? We wrapping up? I we, think we got it. Make sure you tell them about your TikTok and all the other stuff as well. Oregon Grail on TikTok and on Instagram. Mm -hmm. uh, been a little less active lately, but uh, you know, maybe this will inspire me to, to post some more stuff. Okay, I appreciate you. I appreciate you for having me. Hit that subscribe button. Uh, what else? There's a playlist after this for more videos just like this one if you want to see those. Cool, thank you. Go Ducks. <laughs> All right, go Ducks. We out here. <laughs> I would never let you down. Yo, if you made it to the end of this video and want to take your collection to the next level, I built a full community with private meetups with me and other members in the community as well. So if you want to be a part of that and get early access or behind the scene looks on how I run my businesses, this is definitely going to be a place where I can help you scale your collection and potentially start investing in other things outside of sneakers like real estate. So hit the link down below in the description and get signed up and I'll see you guys on the inside. Let's in my DNA, hey, hey, the hey, only choice I like to make what I'm aware today. I would never let you down. Let's in my DNA. The